Good evening, y'all. I'm starting the vlog on a Sunday night. I am just watching some YouTube. I've just uploaded my Primark haul, so if you haven't seen that, run over to my channel homepage and go watch that. Um, but I wanted to start the vlog in, you know, a slightly different setting. Um, because this week coming, we've got some super exciting renovations happening downstairs. So as I mentioned in my last video, um, we have been trying to get the kitchen redone, given a facelift for like the last year, probably since we've been here. Um, and we finally came to an agreement on what's the best way to do this for a very reasonable amount of money. So we are basically just giving it a facelift. We are replacing the front, so all the doors and drawers, with new um, doors and drawers from Howden's. And we are replacing the handles the plinth, which is the board that goes along the bottom to like hide the legs um, and then getting some new shelving done on one of the cabinets or well, what is now a cabinet but won't be after. So that is happening on Thursday and Friday and hopefully it can be done in like two days. It's not like a huge amount of work. They just have to remove the doors and drawers that we have on at the moment, add on the new ones, add on the new handles. I was supposed to order new handles. Oh no, I did order new handles. Okay, um, <laughs> crisis averted, handles are ordered. Um, and then that should happen just in time for my siblings to come over on Saturday for lunch. And um, maybe we might host some people for the UFC, I don't know. But yeah, that's super, super exciting. That's happening later this week. And I'm gonna film the guys' progress as they get on with things so welcome to this week's vlog <laughs> something random um i thought i'd show you guys that we've now got all of the howden's door fronts door fronts hinges in and um, we had the delivery this morning so on what day is it today tuesday on thursday um our um fitter kitchen fitters will be replacing all our doors creating some shelving for us putting the plinths down changing the um i'm not sure what they're called but like the, the bottom of the cupboards that are mounted on the wall changing those up and putting on the new handles and um doorknobs we've got in fact let me show you because i ordered these on amazon um but in two separate brothers uh so these are like the top cupboards and then these for like the drawer fronts and a little bit extra i'm gonna have to like mix it up at some point because i don't know if there's enough there so yeah that is all taking place in a couple of days um just watching fabanel um and uh what else yeah so tomorrow night i'm gonna clear out the cupboards or figure out if i need to clear out the cupboards because it's just the doors are changing and then uh work commences on Thursday so hopefully everything is done in time for my siblings to come over for Saturday lunch um but otherwise yeah just checking in um we also need to replace a couple of these chairs because well a couple of them are broken to be honest so won't be getting those again um because they can't withstand the weight of an East African bunda. Um, so yeah, looking for some more like heavy duty chairs. Probably just get like the, the, 
standard ones that everyone gets, like the big tufted one with the high backs. So yeah, check with you on Wednesday. Morning guys. First look at the kitchen before the transformation. Hello guys, just jumping on with a quick update. So the guys are downstairs working on the doors. Um, so I think they're probably gonna like finish in a day and a half because um, once they've replaced all the doors, they're also building some new shelving for us in like the far left corner that you'll see in the kitchen closest to the window um and possibly having to like cut down some some of the doors to fit there um but they have to like go out and do that so i will do a quick progress shot of what they've done so far so you can see how it's coming along and then i will jump back on at the end of the day just to show you what they've managed to complete um today <laughs> just need to get the plinth done um they're gonna replace this corner here with some blue um same in this corner um we're going to have doors covering these two um shelves and then a plank up top and what else what else what else um a handle for there put the handles on here and then we also just decided to bite the bullet and go ahead and get a new worktop so that's going to come tomorrow they're going to put that on nicely for us and then we'll have a proper new kitchen by the end of the day yeah it's we've made quite a bit of progress and i'm now supposed to cook in this kitchen so that's going to be interesting um so yeah hey guys so back it's evening i have scrub down the kitchen a little bit and show you. so I've just like try to like clean up the worktops and whatnot um just for my peace of mind so I'm gonna cook dinner in here for the last time this old worktop which has served me very well um but I wanted to show you some stuff that I ordered from Amazon for the new kitchen um so we needed a new knife block because as you probably recall I've had this Viner's set for I'm gonna say going on about 10 years so it's time to replace so I got this Morphe Richards set um it just it's just a five piece like nothing special um but I think it will look really good in the new kitchen so yeah it's got a pairing carving utility bread and chef's knife I can't say that I know what each of those things are really good at doing, but I will find out. And then, what's more exciting, because I'm a big tea lover, is what's in here. Dun, 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 dun. It is a set of tower um, in the Empire collection, Midnight Blue Canisters, this set right here. Um, I'm, I think I'm going to wait to set these bits up in the kitchen, um, while the guys are still working tomorrow. Um, so once the new worktop is in, then I will put the new canisters. I feel like I want to put them over there, but this is where I chop. So I put the knife block there. Ugh, they're so hidden over there though. Maybe I need to move my, my tea station does need to be over there. Anyway, you guys don't need to hear all about this. I'm going to arrange it all really nicely. And yeah, you'll see it tomorrow and on Saturday. 
So I need to get cooking tonight's HelloFresh, which I need to find the recipe card for. My attempt at chicken and plum hoisin sauce with the skin on mash added rice from the last meal. So yeah, um, it looks better in real life. Good morning guys, happy Friday. Thought I'd give you a look at the kitchen in the light of day. Isn't it looking beautiful already? Um, yeah, the guys are probably about to get here, finish off this area, install the new worktop, which I'm so excited to see. Get the plinth down there and then fill in that gap, that gap, and pop a new end panel over here. So I'm going to make a morning coffee and get my day started. And then this is what in here is looking like. Awaiting the new worktops to go on. Oh, we have cabinets here. I think something's going to go at the back in blue there. Right, let's see how this opens up. Nice, nice, nice. But it doesn't close. There we go. Sick. I'm gonna have to paint the inside of that, I think. <laughs> Cornice is going in. I'm going to do one for the bottom as well. And then, oh, they've put this panel in. Looks amazing. Oh my god, can't believe it. And the plinth is in. <laughs> so we are all done in here. Apologies for the quality, but I had to pinch you guys a little bit so I could get in everything. Now you can see everything in full HD. So the guy's coming tomorrow to get us an end panel for here. And then he's going to fit the valve in the sink because we're only getting cold hot water at the moment. So still a bit to be done, but hopefully you can get it all squared off tomorrow morning because I am hosting and not ideal. And I have to mop the hell out of this place. Ugh. But anyway. Once I clean it all up, it's looking good. New work tops were definitely a shout. Finally finished in the kitchen. I have wiped down all the cabinets, the work top, bleached or like anti-bagged everything, put most of the stuff back on the shelves. It's a little alcohol display. Obviously, I still need to paint the insides of those, and they're gonna cut me out some panels to put the back. So that's all nice and blue and seamless. But everything is in its rightful place. Got the new chopping block from Morphe Richards, and the new canisters. I had to put the toaster away because I was running out of space on the worktops. But yeah. I think the next thing to do will be to switch out, switch out the sink and the tiling 
and then maybe to do something like built in for the fridge they're also going to swap that end panel for a blue one just so it looks a bit more clean but yeah outside of a little bit of painting um i'm super super happy with how everything came out so i'll be back in here in the morning because they still need to fit something a valve in there so we get cold water um and do the edging for the worktop but good morning guys i thought i would give you a first look at the kitchen in the light of day as i mentioned i did a final clean last night so everything is spick and span and ready for my guests um, I've just had our um, builder guy come, reconnected the valve, so now we have cold water. Had to rewire the oven because that was not working and you cannot cook a roast in it without an oven. And then he's just gone to get a little end panel for the worktops. And then we are pretty much done here. We're going to get cooking. <laughs> Keep that same energy when 